All right, so we're all here talking about user experience, design, mobile, the apps, really really getting into the consumer's brain. Mm. Well, talk to us about some of the challenges that we make, because this, is this isn't something that everyone says, oh, we solved it. Yeah, right. I mean, I almost want to take it a step backward. People are talking about experience and things like that. It's almost like a means to the end. I almost want to take it back and, I'm, and almost go down to the very source of why you are in business. What are you trying to solve? What are some of the things that your customer is looking for you? What are some of the use cases that you appeal to in the past but are not relevant in the future and the customer is actually wanting you to address those situations? So I think that's where we need to focus on. Where does the customer want us to go? And then the user experience, the analytics, the mobile app and all of that all are means to the end. I think those are the easier parts of it. You can actually get internal teams, outsourcing company to appeal and do that perfectly, but you got to get the value proposition correctly. Why are you in the market? How do you make money? How are you making money now? Would the same model be true in the future? Are you making money in a different way in the future? Are there regulatory things? Are there other competition that's going to disrupt you? So in a way, you almost have to plan for your own disruption and almost plan for your own demise. If you can do that, then you will not die. That's in a weird way, that's how it kind of works in yeah. my mind. Yeah, and you were saying, I mean, like, you know, once you get the value proposition, that the, the tech stuff comes after that, right? So a lot of people make a buzz about digital transformation. I've done a lot of those projects before, and people ask me, what's the most difficult part of digital transformation? I said, the easiest part is the digital part, because that's easy. But the problem is the cultural parts, the, the cultural parts of, how do you get all the pieces in the company to kind of come together, go behind what you're trying to do? And a lot of companies don't do innovation quite well. So transformation is one thing where you're taking your business model to the next step. Innovation is where you're experimenting. You're actually trying to learn from your failures. You're trying to do things out of your comfort zone. And so many of the big companies that I work to, they don't do a good job in innovation. What they do is they tinker around the edges a little bit, they think they're doing innovation, they're sometimes doing yesteryear's innovation, uh, where some companies have done that to them, they have moved on, and they think that is cool, and so they try and do those things. So, so a lot of that goes on in the market, all in the name of quote-unquote innovation and transformation, which is not really the case. So with, with that said, we, you know, we, we're here talking about trends, and, and you know, who's using mobile, who's using the app, when you look at the trends of the future, if you can predict, if yeah. you will, where, where is all this going? So I think like, so imagine we interact in our daily lives with thousand different brands. So imagine thousand apps on your phone, it's never going to happen. And if it ever happens, you're going to interact with five, 10 apps maximum. So I see a, almost a world where apps kind of goes away and this area of the hyper app kind of a coming in where all these kind of experiences come together in one mega app. And if you really look at one mega app, what is the really app you want is your browser app. Mm -hmm. So in a way, I want to almost say that all these apps are going to go away. The native experiences people wanted to build those apps on are now available in some form or fashion on the mobile web. So you can actually replicate those same experiences. So I almost predict that apps are going to go away. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a combination of the browser and these different chatbots that are out there, which will be a one-to-one -one interaction. So it's a combination of those two is what I see for the future. Yeah, making it more streamlined yeah, and efficient, yeah. right? Because or else how many, like I work for, my job is to transform the dummies brand. I cannot see a, a world when people will have a dummies app on their phone. But I do see a use case for engaging with our content in various of the existing channels they already work on. Right. Yeah. Ever evolving, right? The yeah. challenges, they, they, they keep coming yeah, and, at you, and, right? and you have to almost kind of look at other industries and look for trends. So, I mean, what I keep telling people is when you're looking at competitors, yes, look at your competitors, but you're almost every company and every kind of thing who's actually fighting for one kind of like, like second of your customer's time is actually a competitor. So you have to look at all the things. A publisher has to look for healthcare competition. Also look for what's happening in your customer's life. I mean, a lot of what we do in publishing is we're trying to look for books and the titles to do. So what we start our analysis is actually where do hedge funds start investing? So we're looking at when hedge funds start investing in a particular area, those areas will actually get a few jobs down the road in two, three years. If those goes job 
kind of like jobs go down the road, then people will need a book to actually work for those jobs. So where do you start? You actually start on what are some of the things that accelerators, the hedge fund people, where are they investing? Because that will be a leading indicator of where your topics are there, what sort of topics, what sort of authors you should focus on. The user experience is always going to continue to be a challenge yeah. for everybody, right? We're yeah. all trying to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think the simplicity of the user experience is one thing because one time we try and do too much, too many things in a thing. I think a lot of the user experience will come down to simple things. What do you want to do? And that is where actually I, I am a, I'm very bullish on chatbots. So what I see is the chatbot is the easiest from a user experience. So all this time with all the data privacy laws coming in where you can't control what I mean, you can track and things like that. Imagine if you're asking, I'm telling you what's on your mind right now, and if you give me the question, that's the personalization I need. So I think a chatbot is an ultimate personalization. They will tell you what they need, and you have to be better good at it. So you have to give them the right answer, the right contextual answer, or else you will lose them.